Right, everybody. Oh, happy day. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to share with you what you as a brand new insurance agent need to hear. This is not going to be necessarily what you want to hear, but you absolutely need to hear this so that this career that you're debating or jumping into will define you, not debilitate or destroy you. Too many times insurance agents get hoodwinked. They get shined on in the beginning and it's not okay. It's not cool. Shouldn't happen, but it does. You get sucked into a career briefing, an opportunity opportunity meeting, a rah-rah session. You're seeing Ferraris and planes and hundred dollar bills. Y'all, that's what you're seeing. You're like, wow, give me some of that. And all I got to do is show up. Awesome. Sign me up too. Okay. It doesn't work that way. New insurance agents need to hear the truth and not have this smoke and mirrors. So we're going to drop a lot of things here that you're going to want to hear. And I hope this helps you. Before I get going, jasonfinalexpense.com. I run a national insurance agency partnering with some of the most amazing men and women in the nation. If you need help, reach out. I'll help you in any way I can. But new insurance agents, when they first get shined on by some of these places that are just calling it opportunity meetings, career briefings, whatever you want to call it, they're all showing the Ferraris and the fancy cars and making you think that being an insurance agent is just easy street. It's a lie. It's a trap. Run, okay? Anyone that tells you that insurance is easy is lying to your face. I know you don't want to hear it, but it's what I've got to share with you because it's the truth. You need to hear this even if you don't want to hear it. This industry is very simple. Yes, it's not easy. All right. So understand if you're going to jump into the insurance industry and propel yourself to new heights of opportunity, this industry has amazing opportunity for you and you should be exploring it and be getting excited. You should be in a place of excitement about what you're going to dive into, but you've got to understand this is not about infatuation. This is about long-term commitment to your career. This is not infatuation. Get ready for a work marriage. Sometimes you guess what? You got to work, all right? If you come into insurance, understand you must work hard. You must work hard. Not everybody likes hearing the work hard, okay? Hard work will make you a good agent when you're properly skilled, properly coached, properly trained. 92%, 92%, okay, of insurance agents will fail out of the industry. It's a statistic that happens to way too many brand new agents. And the reason that 92% of insurance agents fail is because they were hoodwinked. They thought that it would just be some easy peasy lemon squeezy, like my little 11 year old likes to say, of a job. This industry is not a job. Look at it like a profession, look at it like a calling, and you will be better prepared. But you've got to understand the reason that so many people fail out, the very reason that failure rate is so high is because you get shined on. Here's some leads. See you later, kid. Go watch some videos over there. And you know what? If you don't understand it, go watch more videos and figure it out. They lack mentorship as a brand new agent. They lack the skill building. They lack someone that really invests into them so that they're not, okay, in a place of mastery. They're in a place of just fear, right? A lot of new agents get shined on thinking this job is easy, and it's not. It is a hard profession, a humbling profession at times, but it is extremely rewarding. That's why when you first start on with insurance, make sure that you vet your trainer, Vet your trainer, vet your IMO, have a good agency that knows how to crush it, that has good success rate, okay? Not massive failure rate. Most insurance agencies, okay, hire everybody with a pulse. Be weary of that. Be very weary of that, all right? Don't be working for some agency that hires anybody that can fog glass. That's a warning sign, all right? You want to work with an elite crew. You want to work with a agency that's that's operating at like the top of their license. You want to make sure that they're investing intellectual property into you. You want to make sure you're partnering with people that are going to really help you, not just hand you, okay, a bunch of videos and say, hey, go watch it. And, you know, you can book 
you know, a little bit of time to talk to me, but yeah, go ahead, get over there and learn. That, that's going to cause you as an insurance agent to not be in a place of mastery or moving to the next level. It's going to cause you to have a low level of certainty, low level, unfortunately, of survival. That's why so many agents fail out is because they did not vet their trainer. They were not professionally trained, coached, skilled, and they didn't have ongoing support and mentorship. So understand, don't get lied to as a new agent. This industry is not easy, it, but it is simple, okay? Be prepared to work very hard. Rejection is high in this space. The next point I want to share with you is rejection is extremely high. You've got to be in a place that you've got a little bit of a thick skin about you because it's not personal, it's business. You're going to get told no before you get told yes. You're going to get lots of people, lots of what we call prospects that want to have a conversation with you but may not always buy from you, understand you are going to get rejected. You're going to have people that say no. You're going to have people that say, I didn't send that card in. Why are you calling me? Okay. They could have been on their computer doing this and you had a little like video of them doing it. And guess what? They would still say, oh, I didn't do that. Mm -mm, nope. It's like the kid with their hand in the cookie jar. I, 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 mama, I'm not in the cookies. Insurance prospects do the same thing. Be prepared for it. It is what it is. Understand you will have rejection. You will have adversity and discouragement is real. Do not let discouragement destroy you and fail you out of this industry. Make sure you've got good mentorship. That's why mentorship and training is so valuable because really good agents that are just so close to just exploding in productivity lose heart sometimes, they fail out. And I hate the F word of failure. A lot of agents fail out because the little rocks of discouragement get put in the backpack and they don't have anyone to walk by their side and take those little rocks of discouragement out and let them understand what they're really accomplishing. You've got to have good mentorship, good training. It's vital. It gives you a better perspective about what is really taking place as a brand new life insurance agent. You need to hear this. It's not going to be fun all the time, so I hope y'all like this, but it's not always sometimes okay to just get told happy things. You got to get told the healthy things too, right? The things that are going to help you stick and stay so that you can be at the top tier. You can be, okay, the 8%, the 5%, the million dollar round table agents that dominate for the good of their clients, okay? So that you're top tier of an agent that sticks and stays. You're not all those other agents before you that failed out because they thought the business was easy, okay? They didn't realize that the failure rate was hard and they'd have to work hard. They didn't realize that re rejection was high and discouragement is real. You've got to know your why in this industry. Why are you getting into this career? If you're getting into this career for the right reasons, you're going to have purpose. You're going to be able to push through discouragement. You're going to be able to push through rejection because you know why you're in the industry from a heart level. So you've got to get to that point to propel yourself in your career. And it's okay if you don't know all these things. Make sure you mentor up, okay? Just like maybe a marry up, okay? Make sure you mentor up. Make sure you're getting trained from somebody that really knows what they're doing. Please vet your trainer. Vet your trainer. Vet, vet, vet your trainer. Do not be taking telesales advice from face-to-face -face agencies or folks that are unvetted. Ask them how many policies have you sold in three months, six months. How long have you been doing telesales? How many years have you been in the insurance industry? Ask those questions so that you can get the best person helping you get everything you want in this career. The $100 bills will come later, but understand you've got to be a good soldier. You've got to be somebody that is able to be molded when you're starting off. When and only when you've got a good trainer that's willing to mold you and help you become strong, all right? Understand that if you want to get, okay, that pot of whistling, on the stove, you know what I'm talking about, those old pots for some of you younger folks out here, you know those pots that grandma had, okay, and she was making her tea, and she'd put that pot of cold water on the stove and turn it on, 
and you could walk away. And when that pot started a whistling, it was ready, right? Well, you as an insurance agent need to understand the heat is your hustle muscle. You got to be prepared to work. Bring the heat, okay? Some agents are so close to boiling and then they give up. The pot didn't get to whistle, but you were so close to making it happen. So many brand new agents lose heart because they don't understand the level of work and hustle and skill sometimes that it really takes to get the pot to boil and make that thing whistle. And when it whistles, it's an amazing thing to go off. You as an insurance agent, understand it's going to be hard work, especially at first. Be prepared to work. Be prepared to boil, okay, with enthusiasm and energy. Be prepared to put everything in you into building your career, the career of your dreams. It's going to be phenomenal, but don't lose heart. Understand it's going to take a lot of boiling, a lot of work, a lot of hustle to get that little teapot Okay, a whistling. And when it whistles, it's easy to keep that thing boiling. It doesn't take much energy to keep that pot a whistling. So keep yourself into a mindset of, you know what? I'm going to have to hustle. I'm going to have to really work. I'm not getting shined on by this rah rah garbage. Okay, I know at first I got to really work. You got to focus on it. Another point that I want to share with you that you may not want to hear, but I'm going to tell you anyway. When you approach leads, a lot of brand new insurance agents thinks they, they really do think that a lead is a sale. Okay, I got a lead in my hand. Awesome. I'm going to call them and they're just going to lay down and buy from me. Awesome. They love me. It's a lie. Once again, it's a lie. Look at a lead as nothing more than an opportunity to have a conversation. It's nothing more than that. A lead is nothing more than just a little simple opportunity to have a conversation and bring value. You have to bring value to your consumer. That's it. I don't care if it's an inbound lead, an outbound lead, a direct mail lead. You made your own Facebook lead that's funneled. If you need a good Facebook funneled lead source, you want to do it on your own. I've got an amazing friend in the business. Hit me up, jasonfinalexpense.com. I'll get you into contact with him. An amazing man, okay? He can really help you in a big way. He's helped a lot of other good agents that partner with me as well, and even agents that don't. So if you need help, reach out. I'll help you with that. But even when you get a good lead, guess what? It's still nothing more than an opportunity to have a conversation. It's not a sale. You must exercise tact. You must exercise finesse. You must eliminate friction and handle your objections with all levels of certainty. You have to be trained. You have to be coached. You have to know what you're doing and get good people around you that will help you that are on the same team. You want to be part of an elite force for good, not the masses and the majority of them fail out, boom, okay? That's not good. So get highly trained, get highly skilled, but understand that a lead is not a sale, everybody. It's just not. So many agents just get shined on at career briefings. Come on down. And they say, sure, I want millions. Yeah, awesome. Money raining from the sky. Ferraris parking up in the lot. Okay, and guess what? The only person with the Ferraris in the lot is management not cool, okay? And everybody else, okay, is not making squat. That's not a good business model. You don't have to go there or fall victim to it because let me tell you, it's just not good. So you got to get in a place where you understand a lead is an opportunity to have a conversation. You've got to really work your sales skills, work on bringing value to your consumer. When you're selling, always think, so what? So what? So what is my product going to do for them? Not so what is this call going to do for me, the agent. You've got to flip it. So what am I going to do for my consumer? So what am I going to do for this person that sent this lead in? A lead is not a sale. It's an opportunity to have a conversation. I hope this video gives you some perspective. All right. This business is not easy. It is, though, very simple when you've been trained right. <laughs> but it's going to be hard sometimes. You got to work. No substitute for it. Understand that the failure rate is high, especially 
when you are one of the folks that is like, mm, they'll hire anybody with a pulse. You're one of them, unfortunately, catastrophic loss. Boom. Okay. A lot of folks don't make it and it's not because they couldn't make it. Okay. My agency has an insanely high success ratio of agents, but we train to a different level and we work to a different level as well. That's why we have such high success, but not every agency does. Most people hire on and people are dying out the back as fast as they're coming in the front. Fact of life. So understand failure rate is high, especially when you're shined on. And really also that's part of why it's, uh, the failure rate is high because you think, oh, this job's easy. And then your butt gets in a cubicle or you get on the phone and you realize, oh, this is not easy at all. Okay. Point number three, understand rejection is high. Okay. Rejection is high. Discouragement is real. You've got to be in a position to handle things. You've got to have someone train your mind before you work your mouth. Doesn't matter if it's face to face or telesales, you must have a strong way about you because guess what? Discouragement's high and rejection is huge in insurance. It is the truth. Okay. Understanding that training is important, mentorship is vital, it's critical to your success, especially when you're brand new. Do not get mentored by someone that does not do what you want to do. Make sure you're getting training from the people that are executing at the top of the food chain if you want the best chance of success and not happen to learn the painful, painful hard way where you're writing checks and putting leads on credit cards at 20, 30 bucks a pop and then find out that you don't have the sales skills necessary to execute and capitalize on what the client wants from you, okay, as an insurance agent. Understand you've got to just have it about you. You've got to be ready to hustle. You've got to be able to make that little teapot whistle, and it's an amazing thing. Once you get that teapot whistling, you're doing the right things, going through the right motions. You understand that a lead is not a sale. A lead is an opportunity to just have a conversation and focus on the clients. So what? So why are you calling me? You better be ready for that, okay? Be ready to bring value to them. Be ready for an amazing opportunity, an amazing career because you weren't hoodwinked and shined on. Your eyes are wide open. You understand this noble profession very well could be for you, okay? And it is going to make you good money because you're helping other people get what they want. When you help your clientele get what they want in return, guess what? You'll have everything you need later, okay? But you put them first always, all right? Put your client ahead of you. Everything else will work out in this career if you work hard and hustle, okay? And follow your fundamentals. Don't reinvent the wheel. You're brand new. Do not reinvent the wheel. If you have a vetted trainer, follow what they do, follow what they say. It'll make you successful and get you on the right path. I hope this video helps you and serves you well. If you need help, reach out. Feel free to subscribe. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. And I hope this helps you get everything you absolutely need to hear, even if you don't want to hear it. Be successful. Be great. Please stick and stay in this industry. Partner right, just like in marriage, insurance has the same rules. Partner right, you'll be a happy camper. Partner wrong, woof, not fun. All right, it'll cost you more than half. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.